All right, everybody, good morning. Uh, it's about 8.30. Uh, I've been awake for a little while, but I'm getting ready to get up and start stirring about. Last night's sleep was pretty good. It took a little while for me to get to sleep. I went to sleep a little earlier than I normally do. Really the only thing during the night, about 2 o'clock, for some reason the roosters decided they wanted to start crowing. And so I was awake a little while then. And then during that same hour, uh, the horses were still out and about walking around. And one came walking by like right outside the tent and stood and uh, gave the tent a sniff. And then uh, kind of was chewing on the grass a little bit right outside. And, but then he finally wandered off. Yeah, but other than that, pretty good sleep. Um, the roosters got started again pretty much right at daylight. But I gotta tell you, compared to the last place I stayed where the peacocks were loud, uh, between the roosters and the donkeys, uh, they're both pretty loud also. Uh, I don't think they yell as much as the peacocks, but yeah, so you, get, you can hear them a lot. And they're actually pretty far away, so. But good night's sleep. Uh, the camping pad inside the sleeping bag really helped. And then I took the other sleeping bag and uh, turned it inside out and laid it down. So that, that was good too. I did forget my pillow, but I had that rolled up blanket that I used uh, last time when it was freezing that I used to sleep under. And I just had that pot rolled up here as a pillow. That was good too. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get up, go have a quick shower, come back, have a little breakfast, and then um, get started with the day. So, um, my shady camping spot is really only shady during the middle part of the day. Um, sun came up this morning, uh, sun is blasting in right on the camping spot, but uh, there's some cloud cover right now that is kind of holding it off. I think it's going to blow over though before it gets all the way behind the tree, uh, so I'm probably going to be cooking here in the sun a little bit. So I'm going to keep it simple today, uh, just going to have sausage links, I got the pre-cooked ones from Walmart, going to heat them up in the pan and then we'll probably go find a shady spot and have a quick bite to eat before going to look around the farm. Sausage is done. Uh, best part about those is that you know they're preheated, so they're being they're pre-cooked. So all you got to do is heat them up to as hot as you like, which I've done. Um, cloud cover is holding off. Kind of a breeze has picked up, so that's nice. So I think I'm gonna have breakfast. We're gonna have a look around. Gotta meet Margaret. Margaret. I'll have to double check about my horse riding thing later. Um, see when that's gonna be, or I think I can set it up for whatever time during the day. And then I'll probably just go around and see some more of the animals and uh, just kind of hang out and chill for the rest of the day. It's going to be pretty hot today, so probably not a lot of physical activity today. Just going to be finding some shady spots, maybe have a nap later. But here's breakfast, and then we'll move on from there. Where are you going, goat? Hi. Look at the goat. Look at you. Hi, 
Night checking. Rooster, sorry. Looks like he's coming to check me out. Quack, <laughs> quack. Love a duck. He's just quack, 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 quack. Just gonna stand there.
paywall because she came walking down the road one day, walked up to the gate, started talking to the other horses, and she, uh, Michelle let her in, and she called around, and Larry, and Aaron Control, and Michelle, and nobody claimed her, and so she's here now, and AWOL. All right, so the neighbors have left, so now I can be a little bit louder. Have been down and had some fun with the goats. Uh, also got to talk with Michelle about the horse riding that I'm going to be doing. She said probably a little bit later this afternoon because she had some other folks lined up ahead of me. She's got some not permanent residents, but she's got some long-term residents and RVs who have been here a while and are going to be here long after I'm gone. Uh, they were going to do their horse riding first today and then uh, she'll get me in later, but no hurry. Probably going to have some lunch here in a little while. It's getting close to one o'clock gonna try my hiking camp stove out and see uh, I got some ramen to make from that so that's just boil the water cook the ramen don't know if I'm gonna walk into like the edge of the woods like I'm actually you know camping and trying it out in the woods or if I'm just gonna do it on the table on the table might be easy since it's the first time I've used it but yeah just gonna set here the shade has finally moved over the camp uh, sun is pretty much directly overhead so that means the big tree I'm camping under now providing shade and the breeze has also picked back up so now even though it's hot it's it's nice it's not too bad probably also will walk the tree line getting some more small stuff to start the fire tonight I used up a lot of that last night so yeah probably just gonna sit here and relax get that lunch ready and then uh, wait for Michelle probably should have checked to see if did she want me to come back down at some point she didn't give me a time no hurry we'll do it when we can just gonna sit here and relax a while and we'll check back in later all right, so the shade has finally moved around. I've decided to go ahead and try a little lunch. I'm gonna use my new backpacking cook set, which I have not used yet, except I have eaten out of the bowl. You probably saw that from breakfast and from the last time I camped. I'm also gonna use my Stanley 24 ounce. I think it's 24 ounce. If you top it off, it's measured to 20 ounces to there, which is probably all I'll need. And then I'm gonna make me some ramen, ramen noodles, love them. All right, so the cook set comes in this handy dandy little bag carabiner and all so if you want to hook it to the outside of your backpack and just have it dangling outside you can do that it comes with two different if you can get it out of the bag it comes with two different cooking pots which click together to hold everything inside I've got the small one which is not measured probably more for eating I've got this larger one that's cooking and it is also it's like it's a little more than 24 ounces if you measure it right up to there Inside, when they're clicked together, it holds everything. You get this little scrubby thing to clean up for after. You get this set of utensils folding down. I put them in the plastic bag. They don't come in the Ziploc. I did that. But you get a, a knife and a spoon and a fork. I'll probably be using the fork. I did use it for breakfast. The burner part comes in this little case. So when you're ready, it just screws right on top of the fuel. It does not come with fuel. I had to buy that separate. So that would just screw right on there. We'll do that in a second. Wooden spatula for stirring things around. You probably saw I use that at breakfast. Don't know if I'll use it on the ramen. Comes with this little fold-out ladle. Might use that. I don't know. I'll probably just eat the ramen right out of the Stanley. And it comes with these three little plastic bowls. Now, if you're not planning on using a lot of that, you can leave that out. Uh, and it actually says that this will fit down in there. But I'm kind of worried that the metal edge on that will ding up the inside of the pot. So I'm always going to carry it on the outside. So let's go ahead and get the burner attached. So this particular set uses the isobutane propane fuel mix. Uh, Sterno is the one I bought. It's what they had at the Walmart. So take that off, save it for when you're done. The little section right there just screws right in. This is the first time I've done this. I haven't used this burner at all yet. It's a little hiss from where it is in there and just tighten it down all the way. And then it comes with these little arms. Got to fold that down first. That's a little control knob for how high you want the flame. And then these just spread around and you fold them out if you've got something big. Now if I were using the set, see that fits right on there, no problem. But I'm not using that today. I'm going to use my Stanley. Um, so you can see this, this flips open. That see when that was clicked down, it locks down the lid so nothing falls out. It comes with two of these little cups. I'm actually drinking out of one over there right now. But then that looks like yeah, that's also going to fit right on there. I'm going to put, I don't know if I'm going to top it all the way off, but I'm going to put it right up to about the 20 ounce line, which might be too much for one pack, but I'll let it boil a little while to get good and hot. Now this particular stove, there's a bug on me, yeah. this particular stove comes with a little push button lighter. 
you just crank on, turning it counterclockwise to turn it on. You can hear the hiss, so there's gas coming out. And that is lit, maybe. Yes, so now the isobutane flame is, you can't see it, but there's definitely heat coming off there. So it is lit. Let's set this on there, get it good and balanced. Now I don't know how it would do on rough ground. You're probably gonna wanna find a nice flat spot on the ground to do this, or if you have a folding table or a rock, or something nice and flat. This is pretty sturdy. Even if I shake the table, it doesn't move too much. So I'm gonna crank it up a little more to get this water boiling. As soon as that starts boiling, we'll add the noodles. So I've got it cranked up pretty high and we're not very far in and there are already bubbles starting to form at the bottom. So actually I think I'm going to turn it down a little. I don't want to burn up the bottom of the pot. All right, a couple minutes in, we're starting to get some bubbles, more bubbles. They're starting to release and float to the top. So this is getting pretty close to boiling. That was pretty fast. But I imagine if, depending on how high you turn the heat, what container you're using, you could probably get it to boil faster than this. We should be pretty close to boiling, and then we'll toss in those ramen. All right, we got a lot of bubbles coming up now, so I'm going to go ahead and toss these in. I like to break mine up. I know a lot of people just like to toss in the whole slab. But I like to snap it this way and snap it this way. Get the seasoning out. I'll add that in a second. These are beef flavored, by the way, like the beef ones. It is kind of small at the top, so I don't know that I'm going to be able to just pour them in, but I'm going to get some of the bigger pieces out, and then I'll pour in the small stuff. I probably could have used a hair more water. There's still some, oh, well, then you mash it down. Once they get soft and you start mashing them down, it all goes under. So we'll give that a little while to boil, and get really boiling, and give them their couple of minutes they need to cook. And we'll stir in the mix. All right, so once I put the noodles in, it kind of killed the boil. So I'm gonna crank it up a little more, give them a couple more minutes to cook. I think they eat three minutes once the water reaches boiling. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the flavor. They're starting to feel soft. They're still in their big chunks, like they haven't cooked quite enough yet. Give it a couple more minutes. The handle is not hot, so I'm gonna turn this around so I can use it to stir them up a little. All right, looks like maybe the boil is picking back up a little bit. A couple more minutes. Just now thought about it, I'm gonna try the lid on there, see if maybe that'll speed things up a little bit. All right, so I just looked at the timer on the camera and we are at just almost 13 and a half minutes since we started recording. It's not quite been cooking that long. Everything feels pretty soft now. Did never did actually see a boil. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and have these because I think my horse riding is going to come up in a little bit so let's go ahead and crank this all the way down till it's off and the handle is not hot all right so I think that's just about done so the underside of the pot I'm sure is hot the handle right now is not hot and I'm sure if I heated it up a different way over a bigger fire now yeah, but those drips that just splashed on my hand those feel plenty warm yeah that's plenty hot probably could have used a couple more minutes I probably could have turned the heat up higher to get the water boiling more and faster. But I think we ended up at maybe right at 15 minutes, started recording until I turned off the heat. A couple of more minutes of cooking would have been all right, but they're good, they're definitely edible. Love ramen noodles. So I'm gonna eat these. It's probably not too much longer until it's time for my horse uh, riding thing. All right, so meal wrap up and pack up. Uh, it's just been, you know, a few minutes. It's been long enough for me to eat the ramen. This is already cool enough to the touch that I don't feel like I can take it off so I'm gonna fold up the little guys fold that in like that unscrew this cap back on that a little bit of scorching you can see that it's now been used but it's not really that bad now I'm gonna put it down in its little case the quick start was good the little knob was good I can see probably need to be careful with the adjustment of the flames because it's kind of I can see how it might come off pretty easy or break 
that in there. I think I'm gonna put the bowls first. Now, I have practiced this a couple of times and getting this thing packed back in is a little hard. I mean, you do have the space sticking up into the lid, so i wipe down the fork good. I'll probably use it again tonight. I'm trying to decide if I wanna have more ramen tonight or do I wanna have hot dogs again. I'm thinking about making ramen, but this time using this bowl to see how it works. The utensils folded up and they've got their own little bag. I'm sure that's to kind of keep them from scratching the inside. The spatula did not use that for the ramen. The scrubby guy might be a little tall. No, it's actually okay. So that's everything back in there. Even if it feels like it's pushing open a little bit, the bag will help keep it closed. So you get it back down in the bag. And zip, that's all packed. And the Stanley Cup, it has cooled down now. I poured out all the extra juice because all I did was eat the noodles. And this lid is kind of made for straining. It's got the extra holes, but I didn't do it. I just ate them out of this. Uh, I do need to rinse it out. Uh, but no signs of scorching on the bottom. It is the first time I've used it. So I'm sure if I used it more and more and more without cleaning it, there would be some signs of scorching on the bottom. Or if I used it on a bigger, hotter flame, it would do that. But that all worked out well. A couple of minutes after I got off camera and went and sat down, I was able to hold it with a folded up towel rather than by the handle, and that made eating easier. I'm not going to put the cup in there because I need to rinse that out. Uh, but yeah, this whole thing worked pretty well. Like I say, I might have ramen again for dinner. Try the big pot. Uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, afternoon's moving along. Probably be horse time soon, so that's probably the next time I'll check in with you. Too busy eating. Look at this guy. He was walking by, I called him, and he actually came over. And he's been sitting here patiently waiting. Um, while I got the camera ready because I was not ready to film anything. I was looking through some stuff I'd already filmed. He came by, I petted him earlier. Come here, where are you going? Can I pet your face? Can I pet your face? Hey baby. Um, he's very soft. His hair is a little bit different than like how a horse feels. I saw him earlier, he was rolling in the dirt. He's got stuff all over him when he was rolling. Oh. Flies are pretty bad out today. Here comes trouble. This is a wall, and this is the mischief one. So I've got to take a second and put some clothes up before he comes and eats my stuff. Hey, Fifi. Yeah, I got nothing for you again. I'm sorry. This is a wall. A wall has come to check to see if I have anything for her, but I don't. But she's pretty good about it. if you just kind of guide her all the way through camp, she will walk on. Sorry, you couldn't have a plastic bag. She very apparently is very interested in your plastic bags. Hi, I've seen you before. Yes, you're a big, big horsey. Yeah, you're too busy eating. I'll leave you alone. <gasps> little horse. Wifey likes a little horse. Oh no, whoa, none of that. Hey, hey. I almost got in the middle of a horse fight. Hi, donkey. You guys just eat all the time. Oh, you got an itch. I oh, sorry. Look, there's ducks. Hi ducks. Nothing. Okay. Ooh, I almost fell down. Hi turkey. Yeah, I tend to do that. When I walk up to animals, they stop making the noises.
sitting here waiting to go to horse time, and I've got a new friend. Ooh, I'm a little sunburned. Okay, um, so I came down earlier and checked on the horse ride, and she was saying she wanted to wait till it cooled off a little bit. So about seven. Uh, it's about seven now, so I am walking up uh, to do the horse ride now. I've never ridden a horse before. I've touched more horses this weekend than I've ever touched in my whole life. So um, this was something the wife specifically wanted me to try. So let's get up there and we'll give it a try. Look, it's Thor. Hi Thor. Oh, you're very soft. You're very soft. Th Thor. Look at Thor. Come here, I'll pet you some more. Oh. Look at Thor. Alright Thor, I gotta go get on a horse. Okay. I could pet you all day. Little Thor. You know, rolling in dirt. Our dog likes to roll it. <gasps> yes. <laughs> All right. So this is Sultan, and Sultan is going to be my horse for the ride. Uh, she got this horse when nobody else would want him. They thought nobody else could ride him. She's been doing long distance endurance rides with him, and now he is the horse she uses for people like me who have never ridden a horse. And right now he's standing here, and I'm holding this, and he's being a good boy. Aren't you? You are a good boy. So we, they're getting two other horses ready. There's two other folks coming with us. And so we'll be riding here in just a little bit. Get a little, get a little pre-ride snack. A little pre-ride snack. <laughs> there you go. Okay. There you go. And that's good. You get good instinct to hold your reins like that. And that way, if you have to, like, just turn one, you can loosen up on the other side. Yeah, yeah. That's good instinct. Well, see, you might have a G after all. <laughs> Yes. I've touched more horses this weekend than I have the rest of my life.
water. <laughs> Which is good because it keeps him from getting dehydrated. Yeah, yeah. He'll drink out of anything. And he'll drink anything. <laughs> if he thinks it might be water. Sure. <laughs> Take one. Tim riding on the mounds, we call it. The dirt mounds. The kids love it. In the lead is Roe Dixon. <laughs> and Sul Sultan El Shikan riding the, the sand dunes of the Sahara. Tim aboard. Oh. See, he does know how to ride. Look at that, I'm impressed. Very impressed. And if you wanted, you could even take Sultan down any hill here. He could do it. But We'll just stay right now on the top. Oh, and the nice sunset in the background. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice silhouette. <clears throat> you sent him to the right person. Now he's gonna go home and wanna go buy a horse. <laughs> See, that's what happens. People come here and ride and they say, I want a horse. That's right, Ro. There you go. Good job. Now this is the good part right here. Look at that. Natural. Lean back. Controlling the horse. Amazing. Here we go. Doing great. got a pretty good seat for never been on a horse before Tim look at you heels good you're sitting back on your behind not like a sack of taters <music> Thor's loving this because he doesn't usually get to go with me right. when it's so hot out like this you know I will make him stay at home That's right. Maybe. Got to get kick your foot out. That's why you don't wear sneakers. And just step down gently. You really did mount very nicely. Oh yeah, got to take those with you. 
Good boy, Sultan. Yeah, Sultan El Shakan, my free mean horse. Oh. oh <laughs> That's a good boy. Yeah. Like, oh, oh dirt bath. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. No, you can't stay there. Okay. <laughs> That's his trick. Nice. Thor, are you going to try it? I'm tired. Bye, Sultan. refrigerated um, if you don't wash them leave them on the counter yeah. they can stay on the counter for several weeks so yeah, yeah, they, we are supplied well with we get turkey eggs and nice. she's um dutch besides for staying here in life and sometimes the ducks come in here and they lay tires for retaining walls everywhere. Yeah. Here's one behind both of those campers. They make great retaining walls. Just fill them with dirt and they'll start growing or I threw some grass seed in these. All right, ride is over. Of course, it's still out in the field. I'm making a walk back up the plant, getting ready to have dinner. Oh. We're feeding the chickens. I got some fresh eggs. I'm going to ride out with the chicken. Leave those for breakfast in the morning. I'm going to change my mind about dinner tonight. I'm probably going to eat the hot dogs and the slaw just to get those out of the cooler because my ice is pretty much gone. They're pretty much just setting in the cooler in cold water. So, probably going to have dinner. Let's go. I'm out of breath. Let's go. I've been up and down this thing several times today. Um, probably going to have dinner. Maybe run down and have a quick shower. I don't know. Be nice maybe to have that before bed. Or I may just go to bed as soon as I get this meeting closed. I have a feeling I am going to sleep tonight. So, let's get back to camp, get the fire going, get the hot dogs on. Probably no buns. Got to eat them off the stick. Hi, horses. Look, there's a wall. I have to watch as soon as I get up there. Yeah, you're going to come visit. I can't really pet you. I'm holding eggs. Yes, hi. There you go. You're a good. 
You're gonna come pet too. Let's go be pets too. There you go. There's a good boy. You're both good babies. All right, everybody, dinner's done, fire's out. I'm in my sleeping bag and I'm zipped up. Sounds like there's bugs up in here trying to, I think they're outside the, went outside the, uh, the vans trying to get in. Uh, I keep looking over there, I need to look over there. Camera is right there. Sounds like there might be a horse outside too. Anyway, done for the night. I didn't record dinner because it's the same old uh, as last night. Fire, hot dogs on a stick. I did not use the buns, I just ate the hot dogs with the mustard and then ate some bites of relishes I did. Did that instead of ramen because my ice is pretty much gone, so I thought I'd better eat the cold stuff and get it out of the way because ramen's going to be okay. I can eat that when I get home or one of the kids will because they like them also. Uh, I am tired. It was hot today. Uh, I made the trek up and down the hill a few times, looked at the animals, and then I finally went down and did my horse ride. She held that off till about 7 and it had cooled down a lot by then. Horse riding was amazing. I'd never, ever, ever been on a horse. In fact, I've touched more horses this weekend than I probably have the entire rest of my life. Uh, they are amazing. Riding was amazing. Yeah, I've never been on a horse. Nerd wife comment at the bottom of this that I have never been on a horse before so that everybody knows. But yeah, it was really good. She said I was kind of a natural at it. Oh, let me adjust the light. That's better. I'm really hot, as you can see in my face. I'm sunburned. Not really bad, but just in a lot of places. My face, obviously, my nose is sunburned quite a bit. My arms from like my t-shirt and lying down. I'm sure when I take this off, there'll be a white ring. And that's making me feel hotter. It's really not that hot out. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. The last trip I made down to get some water and to use the bathroom before bed it was kind of nice. There's not a lot of breeze tonight, so that could be why it's warm also, but uh, it's nearly 11. I'm gonna hit the hay. I'm gonna get up in the morning, try to get packed up before it gets too hot. Maybe have a little bit of breakfast before I go. Oh yeah breakfast. It's not going to be eggs for breakfast. Remember how I showed eggs for breakfast? Well, AWOL came through while I was having the hot dogs in the fire, and she kind of got in close before I realized she was coming. And when she comes, she comes fast. So I barely had time to get all the plastic stuff picked up and put in the car and close the door before she got into camp. And while I was doing that, she found the eggs on the table. And before I could do anything, she'd eaten one whole and pushed the other two onto the ground, which broke them. So there will be no eggs for breakfast in the morning. However, Michelle said on my way out tomorrow when I check out, she's going to give me a bunch more to take because she says she's got just bunches and bunches or her chickens are making a ton of eggs. So yeah, we'll have those to try once we get home. But as for now, I'm going to hit the hay and I will see everybody in the morning.